three miles for breakfast and it was awesome feeling back on track but then i've only got this week now so fingers crossed hey guys so i just got back from my aldi food haul i did have to pop to tesco to get some extra stuff because um today is the day where i am starting to buy food wise only vegan products um and that is including stuff for holly as well so yeah there's obviously stuff in my freezer left over that's not vegan like these corn chicken pieces they're not vegan because they have rehydrated free-range egg whites in them um so that's not vegan but they do do a vegan version of them by the same brand corn but obviously i'm not going to buy double of stuff i'm going to use up what i've already got i'm not going to chuck that in the bin because that's a waste and i purchased those items before i've made this choice so yeah that's that's that that's where i'm at with that so i'm going to start with the stuff that i got from aldi's because it's predominantly the same I would say 95% is the same as what I would get in my normal food shop from Aldi's. So, peppers, two avocados, they're on the super six. Almonds is not something that I would normally buy, but um, they're a good source of protein and I need to add extra stuff like that into my diet now that I'm cutting the meat and eggs and stuff out. So you could put those on salads, you could have them as a snack, you could have them in your porridge, um, anything really, be inventive in it. So almonds, uh, beetroot, two packets of red grapes, but they have now started doing the everyday essential ones. So these ones are £1.25. Whereas the other ones were £1.69. So to me, that's awesome because I always buy two punnets of red grapes. It's like just the thing I do when I go food shopping. Um, deodorants. Now, I believe that Aldi's own um, skincare, body care range is actually cruelty free. Although there's nowhere on the tin that, that says it. But I believe that it is. So therefore, I believe that this is probably vegan, but please do correct me if I am wrong. Then a tin of chickpeas. A tin of chopped tomatoes. A tin of cannellini beans no idea what to do with these but i bought them because beans are a good source of protein too um i believe that these are i don't see any reason why they wouldn't be vegan and then another tin of chopped tomatoes just because i didn't have any left four tins of pineapple Two, three, four. That's that bag then. Wheat Bix for Holly. It's already vegan, so nothing changed there. Celery, salad tomatoes, Sharon fruit, asparagus, radishes, mange two, spring onions, two bags of the mini apples because they're on the super six, 
uh, oranges or easy peelers, whatever you want to call them. Carrot, ginger, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 bananas, which are quite green, but it's very going to be very warm this week, so they'll probably turn quite quickly. So, Teddy Faces crisps. I know that these are vegan, because I've seen it in somebody else's vegan food haul. And Holly specifically asked for these anyway, which is a bargain. Whereas the cheese curls and the wok sets that we normally get, we don't think are vegan. So that was handy that she wanted those anyway. A melon. I haven't eaten my one from last week yet, but it should be nice and ripe. Um, washing up liquid. Again, I believe this is cruelty free and then therefore vegan because it hasn't got any ingredients in it that are... Uh, from animals. Cucumber, peaches, apricots, nectarines, onions, iceberg lettuce, plums, uh, kidney beans, something I would normally get anyway. Oh no, I did get six tins of pineapple. So here's the, no, where's the other one? Here's the other two. Reduced fat hummus. It's vegan. Um, sweet corn. Baked beans and butter beans, which obviously sound like the dairy, but I think that's just the name of them. I'm pretty sure these will be vegan. I don't understand why they wouldn't be. So, yep. Um, chewing gum, I believe that Wrigley's are suitable for vegans. It says it's suitable for vegetarians, which can be a good indicator that it's suitable for vegans. And then three massive sweet potatoes, which obviously I'm not gonna eat all in one go. That would be crazy. And then four vegetable quarter pounders and four spicy quarter pounders. So they say they're suitable for vegetarians. But I check the ingredients, there's nothing in here that I can see that would be non-vegan. No. So that's very cool. Stick those in the freezer. And then Holly instantly ran to get her white chocolate buttons because I'm a white chocolate fiend, so I'm going to have to find a vegan version of that, as I, which I do believe there is a vegan version of white chocolate. Um, and I tried to, to coax her to get something else, but it took a while for us to find these. And I believe it says they're suitable for vegetarians, and then on which you know is an indicator that there's no gelatine in there, no beef gelatine or pork gelatine or anything like that. That's disgusting. Um, and if you look on the back, there isn't anything that I can see anyway. So please do correct me if I'm wrong. But these are the multicolored fizzy belts. So just sugary sweets. So when we go food shopping, she always has like a, a packet of milky buttons. So you can swap over to these. And these are more, these are vegan friendly, hopefully. So yay but we had a bit of a screaming out dad to try telling a three-year-old that she can't have any the buttons so they've got cow's milk in them she doesn't really understand bless her but we got there in the end 
So that's all I got from Aldi's and that came to a grand total of £38, which is what I would like to spend on my food shop on a weekly basis anyway. It's always been around that sort of marker. So I thought, well, that's a good job. But then I was thinking, well, in the weeks where I need to, when I run out of the corn chicken pieces and stuff like that and need to replace them with other things, you could argue that the burgers are a replacement for those. Um, then it will work out a little bit more expensive. So earlier in the week, I'd already picked up some almond milk. So um, I just got what was on offer at the time, which was the almond breeze. So this is the unsweetened. It's only 13 calories per serving. And I've worked it out for Weight Watchers. It's only two points for a whole pint of this. Whereas if you're having skimmed cow's milk, that's seven points for a whole pint. So that's a winner for me already. I know that Aldi's do do almond milk as well, but I've heard from my vegan friends that it's not that great, but I will have to try it for myself um, because it, it only works out. So this was on offer three for three pounds. The Aldi's one is normally 95 pence, so it would still be three for three pounds ish anyway, wouldn't it? Just under three pounds. Um, Whereas this isn't always going to be on offer, but I thought I would just start with this for the now. But then I've still got another four pinter of some of skimmed cow's milk to go in the freezer anyway. Again, which I'm not going to chuck out because I bought it previously to my vegan decision. I'm not, I haven't got the funds to be able to just chuck stuff out and I hate waste. And it would almost be like an insult to the cow or the animal or whatever that has produced that item who's had to suffer for that item for me to just chuck it in the bin I think personally so almond milk um cream crackers not because they're um you can't get them in Aldi's I just forgot to pick them up in Aldi's but it says on here it's very odd it says also may contain milk and barley Barley contains gluten suitable for vegans. So if it may contain milk, it doesn't say that it does. So somebody's going to have to help me on that one. Are these vegan or aren't they vegan? Um, it doesn't say that there is milk in here or anything like that. And it does clearly say that it's suitable for vegans on the packaging. So who knows? Um, then I bought some tofu from the brand Cauldron. This is just the plain tofu. Um, I love this stuff. I bought this for when my friend came over when she stayed over and looked after Holly the other week. The whole block of tofu is 10 points on Weight Watchers. So we had half each. That was five points. So I just think that's brilliant. It's so easy to cook. I know it's a bit bland, but like if you just like get your cooking head on and marinate it and then come and cook it much later in the day. It takes on flavors apparently, so I believe. Um, then I usually have my pineapple in the evening with my 0% Greek yogurt. Um, so I've swapped that to this Tesco free from, it's free from milk. It's a plain soya alternative to yogurt, which is unsweetened. This actually works out less in Weight Watcher points than the 0% Greek style yogurt did anyway. So that's a winner to begin with. Um, this was £1.25, which I believe is probably a little bit more expensive than what I am paying for the 0% Greek style yogurt from Aldi's. Um, but I'm just gonna like try things that are on offer, but obviously it's gotta be able to, like I couldn't like go and buy a chocolate one of these or whatever, because that would be quite high in points. And then I'd be like sabotaging my Weight Watchers then also. So I'm just gonna have to sort of, you know, muddle through somehow. And then obviously in the night, well not obviously, maybe you don't know, in the evening, after dinner, Polly will have a yogurt stick. So a Froob or Aldi's alternative, I freeze them and take them out one a night, otherwise she just eats them. So there isn't really that I could see in Tesco a vegan version of that um, yet. I would imagine there will be sometime in the future. 
So these were in the non-chilled parts. For some reason, these were in the free from where all the bread is and whatever. These are the Alpro sweet and creamy caramel desserts, but they're quite big pots. I think you're getting quite a lot in there, but there's only four. And ideally I need like five because she's with me for five nights. She's with me on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday nights. So that's five. Um, so a dessert or a yogurt every, after every meal. But we'll see. I went to the chilled section and they had like vanilla ones, but they weren't on offer. They were like two pounds for four. But yeah, and they had chocolate ones, which were on offer, but I know that she's not a big fan of chocolate anyway. She only likes white chocolate. So yeah, I hope that Aldi's, that's my haul from Tesco. So that all would have come to about three, about seven or eight pounds, roughly thereabouts. But I do hope that Aldi, you know, they have got a free from range now, which is small. So that's just the start of things, which I think is really good. Um, they never had that to begin with when I started shopping there. Um, but yeah, I think things will gradually move forward with more availability across the board, across all supermarkets. But like next week when I go shopping, I think I'll stick with my predominantly getting most of the stuff from Aldi's. And then I might pop over to Asda's to get like things like tofu and see how their prices compare, if there's different availability and etc. Et so it's just a case of trial and error at the moment. And then if any of these things aren't vegan, please do not hesitate to point them out to me. Don't go screaming and shouting at me and saying that I'm wrong because I'm still in a transition phase at the moment. So I'm going to make mistakes. That's the whole point of transitioning. So yeah, see you all later.